Hi. The middle class left have patronised black and Asian people to the point of embarrassment. Race has become the main factor of their critique of capitalist UK, an uncanny resemblance to the ultra-right. Within the leftist political spectrum dominated by the middle class, those of colour that are part of the dialogue usually are themselves middle class or aspirational in that direction. Mainly, the left are clueless about the black and Asian communities and the working class majority part being a mystery to them. They've tended to lump all people of colour together as homogeni and homogenise them as oppressed. One of the unhappy results of this lunacy has been the abandonment of the working class as a whole, including the ethnic component, except as victims of white privilege. The influence of all this is that the white working class gain from this and are racist. The left in particular have never forgiven the working class for the Brexit vote. But the Tory leadership contest has brought consternation to the leftists. How can it be that the Tories have two people of colour left in the last five contenders? Black and Asian people can be as socially, politically and conservative as anyone else. Due to a lack of understanding combined with the denial of class, they seem to be generally perplexed by this, even shocked as something outside their rarefied sealed bubble. Out comes our own racism. We've already had it to a degree with anti-Semitism. Behind closed doors is coconuts, bounty bars. In the open, they are silent, even annoyed to the extent of attempting, in the face of all their previous nonsense, to half-heartedly resurrect some kind of a class explanation. Too little, too late. Unconvincing. Best to stick to gender and Palestine and labour where you've invested everything. Like the mugs you are. Bye.